Forget VAR for a second. I believe that we need to see more ex-footballers becoming referees because then I think a lot of these decisions, yeah, yeah. That, that there's a grey area about yeah, um, would be sorted. And also, I think that referees, if referees make a decision, yeah... And they should it, do a post-match interview. They should absolutely explain yeah, it. 100%. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I see referees watch VAR and I'm seeing a clear foul and then they say no foul. And I'm like, how, do, like, how did you interpret that as no foul? Or how did you interpret that as a foul? Give me your, your thinking behind it. So I can either look at you and say, bruv, you're lying. <laughs> or I can say, you know what? I can see where you're coming from. But some of these decisions, mate, the Pogba one, the reason why it was a foul to me... Because it was played in slow motion and everything looks worse in Everything looks worse in slow motion. That's why I don't like VAR. But also, with Pogba, yeah, and just with football in general, there's a lot of times in football, yeah, that, for instance... It would be given as a foul outside of the box. And if it would be given as a foul outside of the box, I think it should be given as a foul inside of the box. However, there are some challenges that I see, yeah, for instance, and I think it is a foul. When I say it's a foul, I mean, there is contact. But football is yeah. not a no-contact sport. So just because there's contact, it doesn't mean it's a foul. And that's what a lot of people that don't understand football don't know. Do you know what I mean? Because sometimes, like for instance, a barge is legal in football and it's contact because not all contact equals a foul. No, so strength. That, that's that the game. And that part of the game. So sometimes someone might get knocked off balance or something like that and they fall over and that. It's not a foul. Just yeah. because I didn't win the ball, it doesn't mean it was a foul. Like, bro, like, and sometimes there's not enough contact to warrant players going down. Yeah, well, we lost that a long time ago. In the 90s was probably the last time we've seen, you know, proper football challenges. That's all gone now. That's yeah. all gone. Because the thing gone. is, yeah, you can get, don't get me wrong, there can be contact. But some some of the ways some of these guys are going down, like they've been, had an axe taken to them, yeah? Like, do you know what I mean? Dan <laughs> James is guilty of and then they get, Yeah, and then they get back up. I mean, yeah. that's happened time and like, time Dan again. James is proper guilty of that for us. I must yeah. say, like, he yeah. almost waits for the contact and he goes down like he's been shot, in it, And it's, it's one of them ones where, like, as someone that plays football and, and, and actually knows the amount of contact it takes to actually put someone on the ground, you can see certain challenges yeah. and think, yeah, you know what? There was contact, but because you've gone down like someone shot you, I'm not giving it. Mate, it happened, uh, Christian Fuchs for, uh, had a throw in. He threw it and it hit Sanchez in the back and he, he dropped down like the like a, someone threw a rocket launcher at him. You know what yeah. I mean? It was shocking, mate. And and that's happened time and time and time again. And referees don't know nothing about it. Yeah, absolutely, bro. And we've seen it. Remember there was a season, I think, when everyone was getting on to... Onto Mo Salah for going down like he did yeah. all the time. And yeah. the thing is, a lot of the time he was backing into people and there was contact, but as soon as he was feeling the contact, he was falling down. And I'm like, yeah. bro, like yeah. just because there's contact, that doesn't mean it's a foul, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And also, like, if somebody fouls, if somebody fouls a player and they stay on their feet, they should still get the free kick. We well, don't I do, do like, I do like seeing the challenges in the FA Cup because things uh, <laughs> uh, let's slide a little bit more, aren't they? If we've yeah. seen it. <laughs> no, absolutely, because I think the passion, um the passion the pit, and also yeah. the atmosphere and that the referees get um get sucked into it. Yeah, you know incredible. what I mean. But honestly, like I want to see players get fouled, stay on their feet, and still get the free kick if there's no advantage. Um because that's when I know that the game's going in the right direction. The amount of times I see players dribbling through about three or four bodies and get clipped like four times, try and stay on their feet. Yes. And then they make pass the ball off. There's no advantage. Bring it back, bro. Like they don't bring it back. And that's why a lot of players feel like when they're touched, they need to fall down and roll around and hold their shins. And because <laughs> they're not going to get it. Don't bro. forget, though, Rance, this isn't a football game at all. It's a TV show. Don't forget that. It's a production. No, they're, it all, they're all the stars in this TV show. And we're all just the fucking extras in the back. Yeah, absolutely. And th and that's what it is. So honestly, I think that um somebody having people that understand the game, refereeing the game would get rid of a lot of the problems that comes with um with VAR because VAR is still down to human interpretation. I thought yeah. that was yeah. bringing in 
um, the machine, yeah, was to cut out nonsense, but it hasn't. Yeah. I'm seeing yeah. offsides given for armpits. Mate, it's a computer, and then some bloke's got a pen like this looking on the screen, lining up a player's yeah. arm like this. <laughs> it's fucking, what the fuck are you doing? 